Hello, darlings. Welcome to the daily inspirational oracle reading provided to you by the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. I'd like for you to take a moment and think about any issues, problems, or concerns that you are having, and maybe you are looking for a sign from the universe, insight, a different perspective, or just another way of thinking about it. Or you may simply allow your mind to settle into your heart and see what surfaces from your subconscious mind and let it resonate with this reading. After this energy check-in reading is over, I am going to give you an opportunity to ask my Mystic Being deck a yes or no question. The Mystic Being um, deck will give you answers such as not now, pray about it, but anyway, it will be interesting. I'd like to go ahead and get started with the inspirational reading. The first card I have for you today is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's message to you is Don't ignore physical pain. The next card I have for you today is from The Matter, creator of all universes, creative energy of all time and space. His message to you is Self-knowledge makes you invincible, darling. The next card I have for you, the last card I have for you for this energy check-in reading is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you is Unrequited love is self-betrayal. So first I want to talk about the card from Katara. The card from Katara just says don't ignore physical pain. Now what is really interesting about physical pain is that it is an indication of spiritual, emotional, and psychological issues within your beingness that has not been properly addressed and is out of balance. So if you're having problems with your feet, your knees, your lower body, uh, this, is an indi- this is your root chakra by the way, and this represents your finances, your ability to feel safe, um, your ability to uh, feel like you belong to a group or a community, your relationship with your ancestors, your community. It's, it's, feel, it's a, a feeling of belonging, a feeling of safety, and your uh, and a feeling of abundance, prosperity, and your money in your finances, child. So if you so if your feet, uh, I've been saying this in several videos. If you're if you're not taking care of your feet, you're not taking care of your money. Your feet connect you to the earth. They touch, you know, it touches the earth. So one of the first things you can do to heal your root chakra is walk outside on the grass bare, barefoot. You know, um, really just squish your toes like into the sand on a beach or better yet under a tree just stand there just stand and lean against the tree make sure that your feet are touching the ground and imagine a white light coming from the earth healing you um, let it come all the way up through your body connect with the central sun the central sun will send down a beam of light and it will go in through your legs through your feet imagine it going back into the earth so you definitely want to take care of your feet so remember feet knees legs that's your money that's your fitting in with your family that's feeling protected if you're having problems with your second chakra we're moving up it's located two inches below your navel this is your reproductive area if you are looking to reproduce a child if you want to create videos if you want to finish your book if you want to go you know you have a creative project for school or work any type of creative ideas whether it's a baby all the way to a delicious dinner it all stems in this air in your second chakra area which is you know your reproductive because just think about it you re- reproductive you're producing you're producing whether it's life is still um, even a drawing is a life a book is a life a video is a life it's a different type of life but it's still you contributing uh, some type of creative endeavor to the planet it's also responsible for your feelings so 
if you uh, have suppressed your feelings and you're in denial or you've been hurt as a child or any type of you know abuse it all it becomes stuck in this area and you may find it very difficult to create you know new ideas because you this area is stuck um, it's also responsible for codependent relationships so if you have a codependent relationship where it's just unhealthy or out of balance it all resonates in your second chakra so now we're moving up to two inches above your navel and we're talking about your third chakra darling your third chakra is in my opinion and it's one of the most important chakras that you have and it is responsible for your self-esteem your self-respect your um it's, it's your power center okay it is your action center it is your i do center so if you're the kind of person who say i'm going to go back to school and you literally go back to school and you finish it and you do well you're the kind of person who says okay i'm going to write a book and you write that book i'm going to make a video and the video, the video happens you're a person who follows through that means that your third chakra is like on point it is banging it is in balance okay now if you're having stomach pains any type of digestive issues that means your third chakra is out of balance so you have to you know look at yourself and say am I letting people mistreat me or talk to me crazy am I am I letting myself down like are you really following through on the things that you have promised to yourself because I have found from you know I was a therapist for 13 years child that people break more promises to themselves than to anyone so you tell yourself I'm not going to be with that type of guy again and you do or I'm not going to do that again and you do you're breaking a promise to yourself you're hurting yourself so if you're having any type of stomach pains work on your third chakra and one of the simplest things you can do is literally imagine the sun the yellow rays of the sun let it let it um um, shine onto your third chakra we're talking two inches above your navel just lie on your bed or on the grass child and just allow this yellow ray to soothe your third chakra which is also called your solar um, your solar plexus and it is the vortex so imagine the golden light connecting with the, the central sun the light and let it bathe you let it resonate completely throughout your body and envelop your body until you're in like in a golden bubble if you do this every day I promise you you will see changes in your personality now we're gonna move up to your heart chakra if you are having problems with um, giving too much like one of the things with your heart chakra it also represents your hands so if you're a person who gives too much, you're doing everything for everybody, your relationships are out of balance, you'll find yourself breaking your hand. Um, I broke my hand once and I couldn't do anything for three months because I literally crushed my knuckles. I couldn't sew, I couldn't do, and everybody had to do everything for me. It almost killed me, but it was because my energy was out of balance with giving. It's about giving and receiving. There are people I know who, they'll give you the world, but they don't want you to give anything back to them, and they struggle with it. They can't accept people doing things for them. These are people who have end up with a congestive heart failure, failure. they have heart attacks. So your body, the pain from your body or discomfort in your body is always an indication of a spiritual, emotional, or psychological problem that has gone unaddressed in your life that you need to pay attention to. Don't ever forget this, okay? So even if you go and Google the chakras and you look at it, there are a lot of different sites that would tell you, hey, these are some of the elements to look for. And you know you can work on it from a surface perspective, but also know that you are a multi-dimensional spiritual being that is your your nature that is your divine nature that is your innate nature is that you are a spirit having a human experience so if you are addressing the emotional issues in your life even when you go and correct the physical aspect you're still going to have a lot of difficulties and you're still going to have those problems because the problems typically manifested 
from the spiritual realm first. And by the time it shows up into your physical body, it has been going on for a long time. So make sure that you address it from, you know, the psychological, spiritual, and emotional realm as well as the physical realm. So we're talking about the heart and the ability to give and receive love and to be compassionate. If you have issues with with forgiving people, child, let me tell you that um, can lead to breast cancer. Um, I kid you not to anything um, with the breathing, you know, lung, asthma, all of that can be related to issues of some people receive, 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 and they don't give. Some people, child, listen, there's a lot of stuff. I don't want the video too long, but basically there's problems with, um, you know, giving and receiving, for, forgiving people or forgiving yourself. We're talking about some heart issues, you know, lung issues. Um, so anyway, don't, so remember, if you're having those issues, see what correlates with it and make sure you work at it on both levels. So we're going to move up to the throat chakra. If you're having a lot of um, pain in your throat, like a lot of disorders with your throat, uh, with your thyroid, usually it has to do with telling the truth, being able to not just, I'm talking about telling yourself the truth more than anybody. A lot of times we lie to ourselves, we're in a relationship that's unhealthy, but we are in denial. We are in denial about uh, what it is we really want. Also, this area is responsible for if you are, if you lack the, 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 the ability of discernment to know when somebody else is telling you the truth or lying to you, okay? But it also is, is the part of you that has to do with expressing your artistic truth in this world, singing and talking and speaking and standing up for yourself. I have found that the throat chakra and your second chakra for creativity, if you want to create a paint, a painting or a drawing or create anything in this world, your second chakra is two inches below your navel darling. But it is best friends with your throat chakra. That's that's what I have found. So whenever I want to, you know, do something really creative, I always work on my second chakra and my throat chakra together. So your, your second chakra, the color is orange. Your throat chakra is the color of Oh, it's like a sky blue, sort of like this ring here. And you just want to, you know, place those gemstones. There's a variety of oils. This video is getting way too long. We're going to move up to your third chakra, darling. And your third chakra is also, I'm sorry, your third eye. It's your sixth chakra, but it's called your third eye. And it is responsible for your ability to, um, to access your intuition, your imagination, and your intellect, and this all knowingness. So you know how when somebody tell you something crazy that you don't, you're like, mm, I don't know about that, and you get this gut feeling in your third chakra, which is two inches above your navel. You know how you get that feeling when you don't know if it's true, and then your third eye kick in and starts visualizing what may have really happened, like what it could probably happened, and starts putting those pieces together. That's your third eye. It's your inner eye, your inner vision, okay? Trust that puppy. Trust, trust your gut and tr trust your intuition. You hear me? Because it could save your life. Now, if you have a lot of headaches or if you have a lot of um, congestion in your head, this may mean that your third eye is out of alignment and maybe you can use some gemstones like azurite, lapis lazuli, um, amethyst, but there are a variety of oils, I think sandalwood, lavender, but you want to work on, like I said, the issues on a spiritual, psychological, emotional level, but you also work on it on a physical level. Of course, you can go take some Tylenol, but if you are not tapping into your inner wisdom, if you are not allowing yourself to to um, trust that knowingness, then you're going to have a lot of problems that you think are just physical, but they're really spiritual and emotional and psychological problems. So we're going to move up to your crown chakra, which connects you to your idea of God, darling, your, your higher self, 
It connects you to the to where you were before you incarnated in this lifetime. It's your your soul that has been with you through a billion lifetimes and will be with you forever, right? And sometimes people are disconnected from their heart. It's like your connection to all that is, your connection to all of the universes, to all of life itself, okay? And to all beingness, to all expression of all there is. And your guides, your, your spiritual guides. And so your crown chakra connects you to, like I said, your guardian angel, your spirit guides, you know, it, your higher self, you know. So all of, if you're having a lot of headaches, and or issues with your scalp, it means that you have maybe, I don't wanna say lost contact with, but sometimes we we are out of alignment with our soul's divine, sublime plan. Like the way I like to think of it is you and your spiritual guides, and your guardian angels and your, you know, God, and you have this plan on what you were going to accomplish in this lifetime. And I think sometimes we come here and we get distracted. We get distracted by so many other things and we forget that we had this promise that we were going to, you know, maybe be a medical doctor or that we were gonna write this book or that we were gonna help people. We get here and we get caught up. So it's your connection to your, all of your lifetimes and what you, your, your, the spiritual realm, your spiritual help. So the thing to think about is your crown chakra connects you to your heavenly helpers you know your spiritual guides and angels right and the um what is the other the word i can't, i'm drawing a blank the oh, i almost said it but but your root chakra your feet they connect you to your ancestors yes they connect you to the beings on this planet your lineage your your dna um the patterns of your lifetimes that you've had on this particular planet. So the part, the whole purpose of me going through this is you have we have this card for this reading that says, "Don't ignore physical pain. Physical pain is always an indication of spiritual and psychological. Don't forget this, okay? So if you have a problem." Just make sure, you know, of course you want to address the physical problem because if it's physical, it means it wasn't, the problem was not addressed when it was a spiritual or emotional or psychological problem. It had to manifest itself in physical form in order for you to pay attention to it. But don't just correct the physical aspect of it if you need to go to counseling or if you need to go to therapy. Um, if you need to do spiritual work, do the work so that you can really, um, bring your body into balance so when we're talking about self-knowledge makes you invincible so guys it's so important I cannot emphasize this enough it is so 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 important to know what motivates you what inspires you if you don't know what motivates you and what inspires you it would be impossible for you to move forward in your life how are you gonna move forward do you need do you need external validation? Do you need internal validation? I know people who cannot finish school without somebody riding them. They need somebody to call them up. Somebody, some people cannot work out unless they have a workout buddy who keeps them honest. Are you the kind of person who needs external validation? Because if you do, know thyself and go get it. Find somebody who calls you up and say, hey, did you work out today? Did you study today? Because it's just knowing yourself. Don't try to, you know say well I, I'm I want to be a person who's internally motivated well that just might not be your makeup child because there's somebody who wanted to be a life coach who needs you you understand I said be real about yourself so if you need if you know what inspires you and if you know what motivates you then you're going to understand life better like for example if you're the kind of person who needs external of uh, external motivation and you know that you've always wanted to start your own business and you every time you get a, a job and your boss doesn't like you that boss is from the spiritual realm they're reminding you that you need to start that business that's why they're there they're not there because they they don't like you per se look if, if you you may need that external motivation to reach your highest potential if you're a person who has internal motivation you don't do you can 
you motivate yourself and you but what you're going to find let me tell you a little secret here a lot of times if you have internal motivation you're going to find people who are always against you in a different way like people who are kind of like they want you to stay exactly where you are like they're going to always kind of you know well they won't fire you because firing you would you know that wouldn't motivate you. What they're gonna do is you're gonna get a promotion. <laughs> so you're gonna get a mo you're gonna get a promotion, and one day you're gonna wake up and you're gonna be 60 and say, "I've always wanted to go to acting school. I've always wanted to write a book. I've always wanted to paint." And you realize that you haven't done the things you wanted to do because the world was giving you all the things that you never really wanted. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's why it is so important to know yourself. And the last card, because this video is getting way too long and I'm starting to sweat y'all is unrequited love is self betrayal I re do you know what unrequited love is it's when you love somebody and they don't love you back my daddy used to always tell us don't love nothing and nobody that don't love you back and I would never forget that so if you are see if you know yourself and it goes back with, which is the theme of today's message if you know yourself you don't want to get yourself in situations where your love is not reciprocated. Where the, your, the respect and the love and the time and the energy that you're giving to that relationship, to that endeavor, you want it to be reciprocated. And if that person is not doing that for you, then it's, there's no benefit to you. But first, you got to know yourself. You got to be real honest with yourself. Like, who am I? Like, what? What do I like? What you know, what inspires me? What motivates me? What what holds me back? What makes me cry? What makes me happy? What makes me sad? You know, you need to have a a book about you and know yourself. Be truthful. Like don't lie. Not the person you want to be, but the person that you are. You know what I'm saying? So when you focus on that, that's going to help you when you're interacting with other people. <sighs> that was a lot so don't forget physical pain is really a manifestation of something spiritual is out of, ba out of balance okay and knowing yourself makes you invincible because you know what you will and will not tolerate and you know where you fit and you know your peeps you know the people who are going to be on your side you know what inspires you you know how to get yourself going and get moving you know what type of gas child your earth suit needs to, to go full speed because nobody know that but you you're the only person who know what types of what type of gas your earth vehicle needs what you need to be all that you came to this planet to be darling so now I'm going to give you an opportunity to ask the mystic beings a yes or no question I'd like for you to take a moment to sell your mind into your heart darling and personally and ask the mystic beings a yes or no question and they'll give you some answer I I have found them to be very stern it's a stern deck I don't you know but anyway I want you to pick a number one two or three and the first one the first card is going to be for people who have selected number one if you selected number one uh, please formulate your question Dolly I want to give you a moment go ahead and formulate your question you ready okay so we're going to see what the answer is from the mystic being for people who selected number one, Dolly, can you please tell us what your answer is to what their personal questions? It is no. I don't know what kind of questions you guys are asking the Mr. Beans. I really don't because okay, but if you are if you are in group one, the answer to your question was no. So now we're going to move on to group two, Charlie. If your number is number two, go ahead and formulate your question, darling, and we are going to see what the answer is from the mystic beings. The mystic beings, what is the answer to the collective question that is in this person's head? Okay. All right. 
So for group number two, we're going to see what their answer is to your personal question. Yes. Wow. So if you are in group two, the Mystic Beans answer to your question is yes. So now we're going to move on to group number three. Group number three, darling, please go ahead and formulate a question in your mind. And I am going to ask the mystic beings to give you a yes or no, or whatever the answer is that they think is for your highest good at this moment. So if you're in group number three, this is the pull for you, darling. Formulate a question in your mind that you really want to answer to. And I am going to pick a question, pick a card that is for the highest good for the collective. Okay, I'm going to see what the answer is for group number three. So darling, what is the answer that you want to give for group number three? Yes. Wow. They usually never say yes. Okay, so if you're in group number three, the answer to your question is yes, darling. Okay. I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you, darling, in the next video.